Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity with your boy Ducky. Today, we're going to be reading tarot cards for Jenny and Rose from Blackpink. This was next on my to do list, so here we are. Um, so, with that being said, remember to keep in mind that these videos are for entertainment purposes. Why is that? That is because we do not have Jenny or Rose here. To confirm nor deny that what I'm seeing in the cards is resonating with them or not resonating with them. I'm just using my um <laughs> I drew a blank. <laughs> I'm just using my years of practice reading tarot cards and my intuition. That's the word I was looking for. I wanted to say intention. My intuition to relay. Uh, what I am seeing in the cards for y'all. So, without being said, and without further ado, let's get started on Jenny and Rosé from Blackpink's tarot card reading. All right, so let's start out with a general vibe of the both of them. Ooh. Yeah, this card wanted to come out the tower. Some changes going on. Big old changes between the two of them. The King of Cups. And the Five of Pentacles. Mm. Interesting. Let's get an Oracle card. Healing Anuradhapura. Anu Anuradhapura. All right, so let me see what this card is all about. So, this card is a southern card, which is related to healing, but what is the aspect of this? Transcendence changing. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Okay, so this card is all about transcendence. Look at all the healing. Um, elephants represent, you know, being strong um, and grounded. And then I'm seeing here this, like, wheel. There's some changes going on. And that resonates so much with this tower card. The tower is all about sudden disruptive changes. Um, big changes that are going on. And once you come out of this, these changes are going to become stronger more resilient um so there's something going on here with this with this five of pentacles or five of spheres in this deck look at this like there's so much there's so much uh arguing here or like fighting in normal tarot or in regular tarot the five of pentacles is all about you know sorrows and feeling left out in the cold um so to me, it seems that there's something going on, and I don't think it's between the two of them, or maybe both of them are feeling left out of something. They might be feeling left out, um, and this kind of like cold-heartedness is causing a lot of changes amongst the two of them, or between the two of them. But the beautiful thing is, is that it's helping them kind of learn how to hone in and take control of their emotions. This is the King of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the King of Cups or the King of Moons in this deck. And the King of Moons is all about using his emotions as a strength rather than like a liability or a crutch or a weakness. The, this King of Cups uses his emotions as his strongest asset, as his strongest um, attribute. So I feel like between Jenny and Rosé, there's a lot of changes going on. Um, and these changes kind of happened because there is some kind of like maybe argument or some kind of feeling left out, some kind of sadness, some kind of cold heartedness that happened. And um, from the videos that I have done um, between or about Blackpink not too long ago, I do know that they're contract is coming up and they're figuring out whether there's going to be a contract renewal after this year and it seems with this card being talking about being left out 
I wouldn't be surprised if it's something to do with news regarding the contract, um, whether it's one of them feeling left out uh, of something. But there's some kind of feelings of sadness and being left out, which is forcing them to really be strong, really be grounded and to transcend, to grow and to rise above these challenges that are going on, because there are big changes going on. Uh, between both of their lives and representing their current energy together. All right, so let's do Jenny's thoughts on Rose and Rose's thoughts on Jenny. Oh, I'll shuffle this one more time. I didn't get a good shuffle. Ooh, there we go. Okay. I might have to refer to my book for every single one of these oracle cards, just because these cards are sacred site oracle cards. And I'm still not the most familiar with these. And so it'll really kind of like help me piece things together um, if I need help with it. So I might use the book just for some quick reference on that all right so let's start with jenny and her thoughts on rose what are jenny's thoughts on rose seven of pentacles patient okay nice the page of pentacles very groundedness two pentacle cards And the Eight of Wands. Jenny's thoughts on Rosé. Okay. Gelling North. Wise. Very, wi very wise. Um, is able to... And look, there's, there's even a tree here. Oh, yeah. I feel like Jenny believes that Rosé is just very grounded in what she wants to do, what she wants to accomplish. Uh, we got gelling here, which is in Denmark. Transition. That makes sense. Okay. There is a transition going on. And notice how, you know, with uh, that tower card that showed up for both of their energies, there is a change going on here. So Jenny believes that Rosé is transitioning, is changing from something. And she's very grounded. It seems that Jenny knows that Rosé is very grounded, knows who she is, knows what she wants to accomplish, and she's a go-getter with this Eight of Wands or this Eight of Suns in this deck. The Eight of Wands is all about fast movement, you know, going after your ambitions, being a go-getter, um, working fast, um, being very ambitious. And with this Page of Pentacles and with the Six, or I'm sorry, the Seven of Pentacles, the pe the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles is showing me that Jenny believes that Rosé is very proud of what she has accomplished already um, and is very grateful for the things that, the experiences that she has had. Um, but now she's kind of, it seems that there's like this kind of patience on skill building, on working towards something else because there is a transition here there is a change going on here um that jenny jenny believes is going on between rose or going on in rose's life um it seems that rose is is very proud of what she has accomplished she she's always very proud of what she accomplishes and she's also very patient at working towards skill building and letting things come to fruition um but with this eight of wands coming up as well it seems that jenny believes that rose is very much a go-getter and there's something changing between uh, there's something changing amongst rose and again i keep thinking of that you know that contract renewal it seems that there's something changing there's a change that's coming, that's happening in Rosé. All right, so let's get some thoughts. Uh, what are Rosé's thoughts in regards to Jenny? Six of Pentacles. It's funny that I 
thought this was the Six of Pentacles or I almost talked about it. And then this the Six of Pentacles actually shows up. Interesting. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And the Queen of Moons, the Queen of Cups. Healing, Tongariro. Okay. So this is a Southern card, which talks about healing. There's some kind of healing going on that Rosé believes is going on with Jenny. This is a location in New Zealand. Respect. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. All right. So Rosé believes with this card showing up, talking about respect. Rosé believes that Jenny is starting to really kind of respect herself. Um, she's starting to respect her emotions. I'm noticing this mountain but it looks like a volcano to me um there's a sir a certain bit of impatience that i believe that rose thinks that jenny has with this eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles talks about wanting things to happen fast you know wanting things wanting to accomplish things wanting to do things and kind of sacrificing quality for the quantity um there's something that Rosé believes that Jenny does. Sometimes that maybe Jenny sometimes wants to get things done, wants to get things going, and doesn't really focus too much on the details or on the quality of the content. She's just like, yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Um, But so that's kind of like a little bit of, of like what's going on with that. But the good thing here is that there is the Six of Pentacles. Rosé believes that Jenny is very giving very kind, very generous. But maybe it seems that whenever someone doesn't like return the favor or doesn't kind of return the same kind of quality of respect back to her, she can get a little bit in her feels. And so it seems that Rose is noticing there's a change and shift going on with Jenny that she's starting to really again, own her feelings and be strong and be nurturing because it does seem with this six of cups, I'm sorry, six of pentacles talking about generosity and this queen of cups, the queen of cups is, you know, the most emotionally in tuned queen and she is very gracious and giving in an emotional sense. So it seems that Rosé knows that Jenny is very kind and giving especially when it comes to emotions. But sometimes I feel like she expects the same in return. And when she doesn't, she kind of gets in her feels and she kind of pulls back and doesn't continue giving the same quality or, uh, or the same amount of love and respect as she used to to that person. Um, which is a good thing, I believe. You know, sometimes some some of us give and give and give when the other party doesn't, you know, give back um, or they don't appreciate the, the amount that you're giving. So I do notice that Rosé is noticing this, this in Jenny that she's starting to really kind of like respect herself more. She's respecting her, her emotions. And she's being more grounded in regards to kind of um, respecting herself. She's like, okay, if you're not respecting me, well, then fine. I'll go elsewhere and I'll, and I'll respect myself or I'll like, you know, hang out and care for people that respect me in return. You know, that give me the same amount of care and respect that I give them. So that's, that's the good thing that I'm seeing here. Um, so let's finish off the video with some advice for both of them. So there's a transition going on here um, that Jenny is noticing in Rosé, like a transition, and I'm getting, this, getting the sense it's about like values and like ambitions and goals. 
And here, Rosé believes that Jenny is starting to really respect herself more and respect and, and standing up for herself and not giving as much energy and emotions to people that don't reciprocate and give the, that same energy, that same love back. Which is good. I believe we should all have that boundary, right? We should know who to give our all to and, you know, kind of pull back whenever people don't reciprocate that same feeling or that same emotion, stuff like that. So let's finish off the video with Jenny and Rose's advice. Because, you know, here in the Ducky channel, I try my darndest to not use these readings as a way to kind of like gossip about them and just like talk smack because ultimately who am I right who am I to like give that type of criticism um because all these people are so much more successful um and so much more talented and, and well they're very talented and they're very successful um and that's how they made it to where they are now um so yeah, we're just going to finish this video with some advice. All right, let's get some cards representing advice for Jenny. We got the page of pentacles in reverse. The ten of swords. Oh, two cards want to come out. The Three of Swords in Reverse, and the King of Wands. Okay. And let's get some advice for Rosé. We got the Eight of Cups. The Four of Cups. The Ten of wands yeah immediately like with the way that rosé's cards came out it does seem that jenny is correct on like believing that rosé is transitioning and doing like new things um because we got this eight of cups or the eight of moons in in this deck which is all about traveling seeking opportunities seeking new things that really emotionally nurture and inspire you um rather than kind of like boring you we got this four of cups which is all about you know sense feeling bored feeling stagnant like you're not growing but you're also not like tracing back you know um so the advice for rose is to really seek out opportunities um seek out different things that really emotionally inspire her emotionally fill up her cup and um tr whether that's like traveling you know, physically to different locations or traveling and experiencing different skill sets or projects. Um, so that's what I'm seeing here. Um, because she, do, she doesn't want to get stagnant. You know, she doesn't want to continue just like plateauing and doing the same thing. Because of course, you know, with everyone, you get a little bit bored of, of that. So that's her advice. Um, and also her advice is to not Take other people's problems as her own with this Ten of Suns or the Ten of Wands showing up, which is all about burdens and kind of um, carrying other people's weight and baggage as your own. Um, that's just going to weigh her down. Her advice is to not do that and instead just like go out and do new things, go out and travel, seek out other opportunities, seek out other things that she can do that will really inspire her creatively and emotionally because it does seem that she is going through a change, especially with the way that the uh, the previous set of cards came out for her, um, which is exciting. Um, all right, so let's get some advice for Jenny. Jenny's advice with this page of pentacles, you know, um, the way that Jenny sees Rosé, Rosé is very proud of what she accomplishes and always is, seems to be very proud of her accomplishments and is able to acknowledge her self-worth. Um, now, the advice for Jenny is to not get bogged down and to not feel like she's not 
worthy or or that she's less than um because like uh, due to heartbreak or due to yeah just due to like heartache heartbreak um with this three of swords there are some kind of feelings of big changes like tying it back to the very first set of cards that showed up there are some big changes going on for the both of them um but then you know that oracle card in the beginning had two elephants in it so it seems that the two of them are really needing to like stay sturdy stay grounded um in their friendship because it seems there is some heartache going on there is going to be some like separation um whether that's, you know, Blackpink separating or doing their own different things or maybe not everyone getting along as well or I don't know what it is and that's not really my place. But there is some kind of healing process that Jenny needs to start doing with this Three of Swords showing up in reverse because normally the Three of Swords has, you know, a heart with three stabs to it. But when it comes in reverse, it talks about, you know, you're still hurting, but you're starting to heal. You need to start that healing process. And it's interesting because we also got the Ten of Swords here for Jenny, which is all about, you know, betrayal, feeling backstabbed, feeling hurt by people that you're very close to. And so it seems that Jenny needs to really acknowledge that, yeah, sometimes people, the people closest to us will hurt us, um, but you can heal from that. And that doesn't make you any less than or you shouldn't feel less proud of what you have accomplished together or what you have accomplished, you know, on your own. Um, the advice for Jenny is to still be proud of who she is, stand up for herself, respect herself, and be proud of what she has accomplished and to not feel any less than um, just because there are some <clears throat> pains and hurts and maybe feelings of betrayal that that might be going on in her life. And she can use all of that pain into into a way that will really help her grow and be motivated with this king of wands you know the king of wands is a very good business person very ambitious um and that's what's what i'm seeing for jenny is to really lean more into this this these feelings of maybe being hurt and to start healing by being starting like maybe her own business starting her own pursuits because she ultimately, just like every all of all of us, every single one of us, we are ultimately in control. You know, whatever happens in these cards is just what's going on currently. Um, but that doesn't mean these cards are set in stone. She's always able to to shift and move and realign and change her thoughts, her life, her goals. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. There's no need to to feel less than um, or to feel like she is not as good as as others just because maybe she wants to do other things or she doesn't want to do other things you know um there's something going on here where there is some some feelings of like being very hurt feeling very kind of betrayed um and she's just like well what's the point now you know <laughs> you know and rather than doing that she needs to lean more into to that fiery element of being ambitious and being a go-getter and doing uh, maybe starting like a, a business or something else creatively. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing for both of them. So thanks so much to whoever was interested in watching this video and requesting that I do a reading uh, specifically on Jen Jenny and Rosé. I keep on wanting to say Jenna uh, <laughs> throughout this whole video. I've been really like trying not to say Jenna. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video on Jenny and Rosé from Blackpink. Um, I appreciate you all. Remember to stay hydrated. Take care of yourselves mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Love and respect yourselves and others. Um, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Thank you. See ya. Bye.